Well, good evening. Uh, hmm, I have something to say tonight, a lot, and I'll try to make it fast. Putin, Putin, I said Putin, I can't believe I said that. Putin, that motherfucker. Well, there's only word, only word I can think of when I say that man's name, castration. We can nip this in the bud real fast. Castrate his balls, his dick, and it'd be over. And you know what? There's a long list of men we could do this to. Hitler, Castro, Saddam Hussein, and all those Middle East men. And you know what? We can't castrate the president of China because he don't have a dick. We could just kick him into the universe without oxygen. Yeah, and I know who we can call to do it? Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah, give throw her some money and she'd do it for free just about. Yeah, I have strong opinions about this man. I want to kick his ass. I want to fly to Russia and do it personally. Yeah, I, oh, he pisses me off. He really pissed. I wanted to write fuck Putin on my chest, but my husband wouldn't let me. And he's red lipstick. Yeah, but he wouldn't let me. He said, no, honey, it might piss somebody off. Well, the whole fucking world is pissed off at that man. But you know what? Biden. I try not to put down the president. I believe he had a lobotomy before he became president. Yeah. And, you know, I think he has early dementia because he can't answer a question unless he has two cards. Yeah, he'll, if you notice, he'll look and he'll look and he stares. And I, I think he wears glasses and doesn't wear them in public. I don't think he can read either. But, uh, you know, Trump's not my favorite person. He's a prick. Our personalities don't get along. He's a womanizer. He's a male whore. But if he was in, in office, he would have kicked that Putin's ass right now to be over in five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know. I shouldn't say anything bad about Trump. Everybody likes him. But I'm sorry. We wouldn't get along because I wouldn't fuck him. I'm sorry. I wouldn't fuck him. I'd fuck Harrison Ford, but I wouldn't fuck Trump. Anyway, yeah, I know I'm a bitch. I got strong opinions. I like sex. I like the magic pill. Yeah, oh yeah, you know about the magic pill? My husband, yeah, the magic pill. Woohoo! He's hot. 55 years old with a heart condition, but the magic pill has revived him. Anyway, um, I've got big boobs. I always have big boobs. I'm 5'10, big bone, got a shaky butt here. But let me tell you something. Everybody's put me down about my weight. Now, when I got on the stage in September, I was size 26. If anybody knows that, it's 3X. I'm a size 1X now, which is size 20. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, for some reason, there are people who have problems with my weight all my life. Fuck them. I'm saying that strongly. For some reason, fat head, fat women, even people say fat men is fucking rude. Fuck them. People are beautiful whether they're fat, skinny, and the people that say this have little dicks, little marble balls who can't get fucked. It's true. I, I dated a uh, thumb drive once. Yeah, I'm like, is, is he there there? Is that him? I, I'm not sure. Is that? Oh, I'm gonna have to fake it. I've only faked it like twice because I used to work on 900 lines. So I'm really good at faking it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna give you a sample. You, 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 I'd have to be arrested to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see Chris. I'm sorry, I've gone too far. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, it would cost you about well, now it's 2022, but about 10.99 a minute. You guys can't afford me, and I didn't bring my credit card machine. I'm too little about me. I'm gonna get off the stage before I get arrested.